Listen, Brody, you gotta do something about your career. You're in the doldrums. If you don't do anything, you're gonna stay in the basement. I need someone with pizzazz. I need someone that can take me to the stars and beyond. I need someone that has good energy. That, that's just... I, I need you. Oh, dear me. I'm just a simple girl from the farm, honey. <laughs> I don't know anything about uh, acting or anything like that, dear, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make you a star. I just know about cooking flapjacks for the last 40 years. I'm gonna make you a big cooking star. A big cooking star. And what's my name gonna be, dear? Fanny Flapjacks. Fanny Flapjack. I can see it all now. The lights, the camera. The camera moves in for my close-up. I say, hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Betty Flapjack, and I'm here to entertain you. Oh, please, bring the camera closer to me. I am ready for my close-up. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the life and times of Fanny Flapjack. <clears throat> Are you forgetting something, Fanny? Oh, dear, no, I don't think so. Welcome to our new show, Fanny and Friends. Yes, dear, you're like the grease in the bottom of the pan. You just want to throw it away, dear. What? No, just joking, honey, you're a lovely person. Today, we're going to meet Steve and Lori. Oh, it's all about love and romance and cooking good food, brisket, you know, dear? Definitely. It's very exciting. I'm gonna help cook brisket in the kitchen, too. You've never cooked a day in your life. You have a very big mouth. You should have your diapers changed, dear. We're at Memphis Fire Barbecue. Yes, and we're going to cook brisket, dear. Pulled pork. Brisket. Pulled pork. Brisket. Brisket. But I knew you'd give in, honey. Like I said, it's the Fanny Show. Welcome. Yes, dear. Tell me about Memphis Fire Barbecue. Everything's homemade. I love the chicken wings, the uh, ribs. Yeah, no, the deluxe mac and cheese is to die for. I always go back to the class, the single classic. It's a hamburger you can't get your lips around. <laughs> What are we cooking today, honey? Come closer. Today we're going to start with our yes. brisket. It's uh, dry aged for 60 days. Yes. It's hormone additive and steroid free. Yes, And it yeah. all comes off of a local farm less than an hour away. What's the joy of brisket? My grandmother cooked a brisket. Sometimes she cooked it for about 12 hours, honey. Can you believe it, dear? Well, I can believe it because yes. brisket is the toughest piece of meat on the cow. Yes, dear. But the great thing is, with age and exercise yes. comes flavor. Tell me, we're going to cook a brisket, so you cook it a long time, honey. You cook it a long time, right, honey? We do. Yes. We do. Uh, our briskets uh, cook for a really long time. They go uh, down for 30 hours in the smoker at 175 Fahrenheit. You said 30 hours, dear. You, am I hearing right, honey? You're hearing exactly right. 30 it, hours. 30 hours. It in, takes In, in that a smoker? Long. Yeah, in our smoker. And what happens in 30 hours? It doesn't dry up, honey. Well, it doesn't. That's why we don't trim the fat. All right, this lovely dear. fat is going to render and melt into the meat, making it just super tasty and very tender. I love when you cut into the brisket. Oh, the juices and the taste, honey. It makes you just salivate, honey, don't you think? Well, I totally yes, agree. Dear. And it's all about that deep beef flavor that you only get from a cut like this that's really well exercised. 30 hours of cooking, honey bunch. Yeah, at a very low temperature. Now, how do we start here with the brisket? The first thing we're going to do to season it is we're going to use uh, kosher salt. You just put quite a bit of salt on it. As I say to my apprentices, we want to make sure it looks like it's been snowed on. Okay, dear, I love snow. I love a Christmas day, dear, don't you? I do. And then we just massage that in? Yes. Oh, keep massaging, honey. The next thing we want to do is just a liberal amount of pepper. My mother said don't put too much pepper on because you're achoo! Sneeze, honey. Exactly. That's we wouldn't right. want to do that on the food. You don't want to sneeze on the food. That's unsanitary, isn't it, it is. Stevie? It is. Then we apply the dry this rub. This is a special ingredient that you have the secret recipe to. 
Yep. And the secret is again, honey? It's the sugar that's in sugar. it. Sugar. Yep, we use a square cut semi-molasses sugar wow, yeah. that allows the sugar not to burn oh when goodness. it goes in the smoker for so long. But so what is this to you? This is ground coriander and coarse ground black pepper. So the ground coriander gives that, that nice lemon flavor. Oh, dear. And the black pepper is the sort of the balance of that. And that's I see. what all my food is. It's all about balance. It's all about balance, dear. So it's about flavor and thickness. And this is applied just as liberally as the others. Look at that. You have such technique. This is where the excitement starts, honey. We're going to put this piece of meat in the smoker for 30 hours. What shall we do to pass the time, honey? I don't know, but I'm nope. sure we'll find out. Oh, you are a little devil, dear. Oh, my goodness, <laughs> I must have. So let's put it in. Excellent. Slide it in, honey. Oh, OK. Dear, everybody, oh, stop. Everybody, stop, please. Stop. I can't believe it. I have a phone call. Hello, darling. Oh, yes, I love you, too. Oh, it takes a lot to look beautiful. Yes, dear. Oh, mm, I love you, honey bunch. All right, everybody, continue. Make me beautiful. That is 30 hours. I don't understand it. It's all brown on the outside. That doesn't affect the inside, dear. No, and on the inside, it'll be almost either completely pink or, you know, there may, yeah. might be a nice small bar of, uh, of, of brown, but... Oh, this is really good for my complexion, honey. Yeah. Let me ask you, dear, when you're cutting a brisket, would you cut it this way or would you cut it that way, honey? Well, that's the problem with brisket. That's yes. why sometimes brisket isn't all that enjoyable because there are five different muscles in here. Oh, you're kidding. No, and each has a different grain and each goes a different way, so when you're cutting it, you actually have to have some skill and decide where to cut, how to cut. 30 hours? You'd think it would be dry up to 30 hours. You'd think so, but all that fat has rendered right into the meat and left it super moist and tender. Now, when you're doing the sandwich here, this is served, so it's served beautifully dear. What's the yellow stuff here? This is our Texan relish. Texan relish, honey. Yep, so it's mustard, sweet pickles, uh, hot pepper rings, our smoked tomato relish that we make in-house for the burgers. Oh my and then it all gets mixed together, and that's the perfect balance for the fat level that's in the brisket. Right, So yeah. it's all about balance. And then some apple slaw on the side. Look at that. And then those are our pit beans. And that's... I did your pardon, honey. Those are pit beans. So they get smoked pit as well. Beans. Yep, they get smoked for 12 hours. They're also smoked for 12 hours. They are. You know what, dear? My gloves would make it messy. Would you mind feeding me? I would love to. Oh, dear. Let me put that down there like that. And let's play like little choo-choo train, honey. Remember when you are a child? Absolutely. And you want, to, you want to do the choo-choo? Yes, dear. Oh, my Delicious God. Brisket. Oh, here comes my brisket. Wait, slow, oh, honey. There we oh, go. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. It is a little bit of heaven. Oh, my goodness. It's the slider combo uh, of Mr. Nice and Mr. Naughty, and it comes with a uh, Mac Deluxe. Oh, phenomenal. Wow favorite dish would be the brisket sandwich. Nice hot beef, it's always tender. Got a nice little bit of uh, Texan relish on it. Just gives it that little bit of zing. Hello, Mr. Cowboy, dear. Hello, ma'am. Yes, you must get lonely on the range with all those wolves and snakes and the smell of smoke, dear. No, ma'am, I kind of like it. The nature, the mountains, the fire, uh, it's nice. Oh, I love those things too, dear. Would you like to order, honey? Yeah, I'll take the steak. Oh, the steak is very good here, and, dear. Uh, the Coney Island fries. Coney Island fries, dear. They're hand cut, and boy, are they ever good. Definitely a milkshake. Milkshake, dear. A milkshake, yes, that's very tasty, dear. I'm sure you'll love it. You like strawberry. Hi, honey. What do you want? I'm thinking the pulled pork. All right. We'll take some pulled pork as well. Oh, I have some very bad news for you, dear. The kitchen's closed. I'm so sorry, dear. Time to go home. What? Well, we're here with the two little lovebirds, aren't you, dear? Give each other a little kiss, darling. 
Yes, isn't that lovely? That's true love right here. Now, you don't just make brisket, dear. You make all kinds of things, right? Lori, tell me about this dish here. Oh, uh, the pulled pork? Yes, dear. Oh, the this is uh, just a basic pulled pork sandwich. It's a full shoulder that we smoke on the smoker for a minimum of 24 hours. Right, dear. And it's pulled to order. So every time I get an order, I pull the shoulder. You pull each time, dear? Yes, every time. Every time, dear. And it, what's that there? Looks like beans or something. Actually, this is our... This is our Mac Deluxe. It is. It is. It is mac and cheese that we make here in house from scratch. Um, the besh is a basic bechamel, uh, milk based besh with Dijon mustard and then one. You put mustard in a macaroni and cheese. Absolutely. Look at you, you're full of beans, aren't you, honey? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Stevie, what's this we're looking at, honey? Well, this here is our uh, one of our famous burgers. This is the sneaky cheese. I beg your pardon. The sneaky cheese. Sneaky cheese is right in there. Where is this? Where is the burger, honey? Well, it's, it's covered, covered with so many stuff, but it all balances. It all tastes fantastic. What's on the chips? They're the French fries, honey. That's our ranch fries. So that's our house-made ranch dressing with bacon dice, uh, aged cheddar cheese, and uh, green onions. It's so good. It's so good. And our <laughs> hand-cut fries. Oh, the taste is, it's so good. It's almost, a, it's a, um, orgasmic. Dip. Oh, I love the food and I love you too. Mm. Oh, you're so cute. Let's give me a kiss now, girls and boys. One for you and one for you. Aren't they lovely, dear?